Just imagine, after years of hearing about lithium as the backbone of electric mobility, 2026 arrives and Tesla appears, saying that this chapter is over. The company is unveiling its long-awaited aluminum-ion super battery. And it's no exaggeration to say this announcement feels like the end of an era. The curious detail is that, while the entire world was worried about its dependence on lithium, largely controlled by China, which accounts for around 7 million tons, Elon Musk was already moving in a different direction. He knew this dominance could become a bottleneck and decided to turn the tables even before the rope was tight. It's almost as if he were playing chess, while others were still assembling the pieces on the board. The impact of this movement goes far beyond the technology itself. When it comes to energy independence, it's not just a matter of cost, but also of strategy. With this battery, Tesla is cutting ties that previously seemed inescapable, paving the way for a new logic in the industry. Imagine the feeling of no longer being dependent on a supplier that can manipulate prices and volumes at will. This freedom changes the course not only for Tesla, but for the entire automotive industry, which was already suffering from the pressure of international supply chains. The feeling is one of relief mixed with excitement for what lies ahead. And you know what's most striking? Aluminum isn't exactly new to us. It's in soda cans, packaging, everywhere. But now, it's becoming the star of a market worth billions. This turnaround shows that the most revolutionary solutions are sometimes right under our noses, just waiting for the right moment to shine. Elon Musk seems to have seen this before anyone else and didn't hesitate to bet his chips. It's as if to say, you're chasing the wrong gold, while I've already found the next mine. Another thing that intrigues the public is how this shift is happening so quietly. While market reports were still discussing the future of lithium, Tesla was already testing aluminum prototypes under extreme conditions. The narrative being constructed here is almost cinematic. On one side, entire countries hoarding lithium reserves as if they were treasures, and on the other, Tesla revealing that the true trump card lies in a metal that is abundant, accessible, and, most importantly, independent of Beijing's policies. It's hard not to consider how this move could reshape the global balance. The most fascinating thing is to observe the psychological effect of this revelation. Consumers, investors, and even competitors are faced with a disruption no one expected so soon. The feeling that lithium would reign supreme for another decade has simply evaporated. Now, the discussion is how aluminum can redefine the standards of cost, safety, and durability. And this, let's face it, arouses both curiosity and fear. After all, if this technology truly delivers what it promises, will there still be room for lithium batteries in the near future? This transition also raises questions of economic power. For years, China was seen as irreplaceable in the supply of lithium almost as a natural monopoly. But with aluminum gaining prominence, this dependence is beginning to crumble. It's like watching a house of cards slowly crumble. And the political weight of this cannot be ignored. Elon Musk isn't just launching a new battery. He's, in a way, weakening one of the greatest geopolitical assets of our time. This is a move that goes far beyond engineering. From Tesla's perspective, this bet also has a symbolic side. The company has always been associated with the idea of disruptive innovation, of being at least two steps ahead of the pack. Now, by abandoning lithium and embracing aluminum, it reinforces this identity even more strikingly. It's as if saying to the market, we don't follow trends, we create them. This positioning creates an almost mythical aura around the brand, capturing not only customers, but also the collective imagination about what is possible with vision and boldness. When it comes to range, this is the moment when everyone's eyes really light up. Tesla surprises by showing that a pack of just 55 kW equipped with the new aluminum battery can deliver up to 820 miles or more than 1,300 kilometers on a single charge. It's a number that seems straight out of science fiction, 
but in 2026, it will become reality. Interestingly, this leap doesn't happen by increasing the battery size, as many imagined, but by reducing the internal resistance of the cells almost to zero. The result is that every drop of energy is utilized almost perfectly, without those invisible losses that have always plagued lithium batteries. This change completely redefines the driver's relationship with their electric car. Who hasn't felt the anxiety of looking at the gauge and wondering if they'll reach their destination before the charge runs out? Well, that fear disappears here. With over 800 miles available, even long trips, like from Los Angeles to Seattle, become possible without a single stop to recharge. This freedom brings a new sense of confidence transforming the experience of driving a Tesla into something even more natural and worry-free. The most interesting thing is that this advancement goes beyond autonomy itself. The way energy is stored and released makes the car more predictable and reliable, especially on highways. On high-speed stretches, where batteries previously drained quickly, the efficiency of aluminum keeps consumption stable. This means that, for the first time, Drivers can plan a long trip without relying on complicated calculations or charging station maps. Confidence is no longer a luxury. It's the norm. There's also the impact on daily life. Think about older drivers or people living in areas with limited charging infrastructure. For these people, extended range is practically a social revolution. The security of not having to worry about unexpected breakdowns changes their relationship with their car. And this goes far beyond convenience. It's about accessibility and inclusion. Tesla manages, in a way, to democratize electric mobility, making it viable for those who previously saw only limitations. Another striking point is how this extraordinary range was achieved without compromising the car's weight or design. There's no need for giant, space-consuming packs or radical structural changes. The secret lies in microscopic efficiency, in how each cell operates with minimal losses. It's almost as if the car were more intelligent in the way it breathes energy, doing more with less. This elegant simplicity ends up being one of the technology's greatest strengths. What makes this new battery even more fascinating is not only its incredible range, but also its intelligence in handling energy. Tesla has dubbed this innovation DSPC, or Dynamic Self-Balancing Power Clusters. It sounds complicated, but in practice it's simple to understand. Instead of activating the entire battery at once, as with traditional technologies, the pack is divided into dozens of independent microgroups, each with its own microcontroller. This way, the battery only releases exactly the amount of energy the car needs in each situation, without wasting any. Think of a quick trip to the corner bakery. In a typical car, the entire power system is activated, even if you only use a fraction of its capacity. With DSPC, perhaps only two or three clusters are activated, providing the bare minimum for that short trip. Now imagine the opposite, a long trip, with uphill and downhill sections and speed variations. In this case, the clusters kick in gradually, adapting to the terrain and your driving style in real time. It's almost as if the battery thinks along with the driver. This logic generates a huge benefit for durability. Because the clusters don't all work simultaneously, each cell experiences less internal stress, extending the pack's lifespan by over 30%. This means that not only does the range increase, but also the battery's health over the years. In other words, you're not just buying a car with more range, but one that remains reliable for much longer. And let's face it, this feeling that the investment will pay off for decades is a relief for any consumer. Another noteworthy detail is the instant backup function. If any cluster fails or loses efficiency, the others immediately take over the charge without the driver noticing any change in performance. It's as if the battery has a built-in contingency plan ready to reorganize itself. This feature makes the system much safer and more reliable, reducing the chance of unpleasant surprises on the road. Furthermore, this distributed architecture opens the door 
to even greater integration with Tesla's artificial intelligence. Each cluster communicates with the car's software, which in turn analyzes driving patterns, weather, and even the road's terrain to decide how to optimize energy distribution. This creates a personalized driving experience, where every mile traveled is calculated with near-surgical precision. It's as if the car learns from you, becoming more efficient with each trip. What really leaves anyone speechless is the durability of this new generation of aluminum batteries. For years, the biggest concern among electric car owners was precisely the natural wear and tear of the cells, which inevitably led to a loss of capacity. Tesla decided to face this challenge head-on, and the result is surprising. The 2026 Super Battery is designed to withstand more than 15,000 complete charge cycles. In other words, that translates to around 4 million miles of use, a number so large it almost seems like a joke. It's as if a single pack could take a car from Earth to the moon and back eight times. This durability doesn't come from magic, but from refined engineering. One of the biggest culprits of lithium batteries has always been the formation of dendrites, those microscopic needle-like structures that grow inside the cells and ultimately destroy the system from within. Tesla solved this problem by using a solid reinforcement around the edges of the cells, which simply blocks the growth of these silent invaders. It's like placing internal barriers that ensure nothing unwanted will corrode the structure over time. The result is a cleaner, more stable, and more reliable battery. Another impressive aspect is the battery's operating temperature range. We're talking stable performance between 45 degrees CC and 150 degrees without the need for active cooling or heating systems. This eliminates layers of complexity previously essential to lithium-ion battery packs, reducing weight, costs, and points of failure. Imagine no longer having to worry about your car losing efficiency on a freezing winter morning or a scorching summer day. This adaptability transforms the user experience and virtually eliminates climate concerns. The economic impact cannot be ignored either. Replacing a damaged lithium battery today can easily cost over $11,000, which has always been a source of concern for those considering switching to an electric car. With the promised durability of aluminum batteries, this fear is completely lost. Consumers now see the car as a long-term investment, without the feeling that a huge bill could appear at any moment. This radically changes the perception of value in the EV market. This robustness also brings advantages to those who use the vehicle intensively, such as commercial fleets, taxi drivers, and logistics companies. In these cases, the car needs to be always available and reliable, without unpleasant surprises along the way. With a battery capable of running millions of kilometers without significant degradation, Tesla virtually eliminates the risk of forced downtime due to battery maintenance. It's a solution that combines performance and economy in a way almost unprecedented in the automotive industry. Tesla's boldest move to make this battery a reality was the creation of the Cold Forge One factory in the heart of Alaska. At first glance, it may seem like a strange choice to install such an advanced plant in a cold and remote location, but it's precisely this detail that makes the project brilliant. The new aluminum cells require rapid cooling during the forging process, and while factories in China or elsewhere must expend enormous amounts of energy on refrigeration systems, in Alaska, nature itself does this work almost free of charge. It's a masterstroke that cuts costs and also makes production cleaner. This intelligent use of the climate reduces the production line's energy consumption by more than 70%, completely changing the competitiveness equation. And it doesn't stop there. The facility is also powered by renewable sources, such as geothermal and hydroelectric energy, which virtually eliminates the factory's emissions. In other words, Tesla not only builds a more efficient and durable battery, but also creates a sustainable manufacturing process that reinforces its image as a company committed to the future of the planet. It's the kind of solution that combines engineering, economics, 
and environmental awareness in a single package. The most intriguing aspect is the strategic impact of this decision. While China still dominates lithium production and maintains its influence over global supply chains, Tesla is opening a completely independent front, using materials abundant in the United States and leveraging local natural resources. This means that, for the first time in decades, the U.S. could regain absolute leadership in a sector that previously seemed lost. It's as if Elon Musk has found the perfect opportunity to turn the tables on a game that already seemed set. The choice of aluminum is another advantage in this equation. In the United States alone, annual production already exceeds 1.7 million tons, with capacity to expand to more than 5 million in the coming years. Furthermore, there are strategic reserves of over 1.5 million tons ready for immediate use. This guarantees a security of supply that simply doesn't exist with lithium. Tesla is thus able to create a closed loop, mining, processing, and manufacturing within its own territory, virtually eliminating dependence on critical imports. This move also ushers in a new era of production costs. With Cold Forge One, Tesla projects a cost of just $45 per kilowatt produced by 2027. To give you an idea, the average price of lithium batteries in China is still around $131 per kilowatt. The difference is not only significant, it's devastating. This 65% drop opens the door to drastically reducing final car prices, something that could irreversibly transform the global electric vehicle market. With Cold Forge One in full swing, the impact on the global electric vehicle market is almost immediate. Tesla can reduce the cost per kilowatt to around $45 by 2027, a figure that's 65% cheaper than the average lithium-ion plant in China, which still hovers around $131 per kilowatt. This monumental difference paves the way for a Tesla's final price to drop by up to $10,000, a game changer. Imagine premium electric cars becoming more affordable than entry-level combustion-powered models. This isn't just a market advantage, it's an economic earthquake. This disruption is directly reflected in Chinese exports. Estimates already indicate that by 2030, the decline in competitiveness could mean a reduction of up to 15 million units in EVs shipped by China worldwide. This is because, beyond price, Tesla offers a technology and reliability package that makes any lithium-powered alternative less attractive. Who would want to wait 40 minutes to charge a Chinese car? When a Tesla with an aluminum battery recharges in 10 minutes and can travel over 800 miles? This comparison speaks for itself. Another crucial point is consumer perception. When someone sees a car that not only costs less, but also offers more range, greater safety, and durability, the purchase decision becomes almost automatic. This creates a domino effect. Dealerships sell out faster, demand for Tesla cars explodes, and competitors are left with stranded inventory. This difference in attractiveness accelerates market transition at a speed rarely seen in the automotive industry. This shift also directly impacts the European, North American, and Australian markets, where there's already a natural push to reject Chinese products for safety, sustainability, and political reasons. With the arrival of the aluminum super battery, these barriers become even higher. Governments find more justification for imposing tariffs and restrictions, while consumers feel comfortable opting for a product that, in addition to being better, also seems more aligned with environmental values and industrial independence. It's interesting to note how Tesla, by cutting costs so aggressively, transforms the very concept of affordability in electric cars.